He's also doing some good work with shelter animals. Courtney's standing by with him now, getting him to dish on the details. Yes, dishing on the details, representing the uh, 10th District of California. But the thing is, we're not going to talk anything about politics today. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Representative Josh Harder joining us this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I know Excited you're very be busy, but we heard some fun news that you've got a little furry announcement up your sleeve. Absolutely. Very important. Yes. Uh, before I could get my wife's permission to run for office, yeah. I had to agree that if we won, okay. we would adopt the dog. Yes. And uh, it's here. We, we won. <laughs> we got it done. <laughs> yeah, we adopted this wonderful foster Look dog named Blue right here. Guy. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. He's a, a not, that's not him. That's another cute that's dog. That's another cute dog. He was the yeah. runner up. Okay. <laughs> um, but Blue is a nine year old pit bull yeah. uh, foster animal. Been through a lot of uh, tough homes. Yeah. And uh, we've been watching over him uh, for, for a while and finally decided to, to, to accept the love that we knew. Absolutely. You know, we are good friends with SPCA, Front Street, Bradshaw. So we love uh, the idea of, of adopting, not shopping. Yeah. But fostering, it takes a little extra, right, to, to foster pets. What, you what know, would you say to people? I would who say are, the exact opposite. I, I actually think that for folks that don't know if they're ready okay. to adopt yet, it's a really good way to figure out if it's a fit. Sure. And you can go to your local animal shelter. Pam's a longtime volunteer of the Stanislaus uh, County Animal mm -hmm. Shelter, which does some great work. And you can try out a couple dogs, okay. see if you like them. Either way, it's good for them because they get a chance to come out of the shelter, go with the home. Yeah. And if it is a fit, then you don't have to take them back. That's you can true. just keep them. That's true. You can be a foster fail. That's right. That's what we were. Yeah. <laughs> I love foster fails. That's so great. Okay. And I also want to ask you about your connection with Turlock. Modesto, you grew up in Turlock. Yeah. Fifth right. generation resident of the, mm -hmm. of the valley. My great great grandfather started a peach farm in 1850. Nice. Uh, so we've been around a long time. But, but yeah, I really think my story is I got the best of Turlock in the Central Valley. Sure. I started as a paper boy for the Turlock Journal at age 12, went through the public school system, graduated from Modesto High. Okay. And, and really, I think what I'm trying to do is make sure that more folks have access to the same opportunities that I did. Uh, because we live in an area where not everybody does. Yeah. Uh, and the opportunities that I had, I got a scholarship from the local Rotary Club to go off to college, uh, is all about making sure that more people have access to those same type of opportunities. And you're talking about access, you're talking about scholarships. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Corporal Ronell Singh was killed on Christmas uh, night just this last year. But you're trying to make it so that uh, families of these children are able to get scholarships for college. We, we've seen a horrific increase in the number of law enforcement deaths across yeah. the country. Yeah. 144 law officers uh, fell in the line of duty over the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, here, we, we've seen uh, Officer Tara O'Sullivan, yeah. even in the last couple weeks. And we're obviously trying to do everything we can to mitigate and to stop that. We also are trying to address some of the economic hardships that are coming along with that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the average law officer who, who dies in the line of duty is, is only 41 years old. Wow. And so oftentimes leaving behind a, a family. What we're doing here is make sure that there is guaranteed access to scholarships for every spouse and child of a law enforcement officer named after uh, Corporal Ron Singh. And I think that's so critical to make sure that we're fulfilling that promise that we make to law enforcement officers when they're going out and serving our community. We spoke about the Central Valley, uh, Santa Claus County specifically. We spoke about scholarships and we spoke about foster dogs. No politics in there. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's all about Carter. good stuff. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in this Thanks morning. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Pleasure to be here. Hang out because we've got KFC in the studio. Oh, amen. More good day coming up after the break. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah.